Hey babes, it's Tap the Lazy Planner Addict, and today I thought it would be fun to poke around Erin Condren's 60% off spring warehouse sale. I didn't realize they were gonna go 60% off, but since the new life planners are coming out in approximately a month, and we're gonna probably have a lot of refreshes for other things like the teacher lesson planner, the academic planner, that's gonna cut that's gonna be a little bit longer probably. The um the annual planner, the one that just has the monthly, maybe that's what it's called, the monthly. Anyway, we're gonna have a lot of those refreshing. So I'm assuming they're clearing everything out and then hopefully pretty soon we'll start getting sneak peeks for the life planner because I feel like that's kind of the main event. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the Erin Condren website. Here's what it looks like. 60% off select items. By the way, if you also want to get $10 off your first Erin Condren purchase. I do have a link in the description box down below that is an affiliate link and um, I will also leave a link in the description for this page. If you just want to use my link, it's an affiliate link. I do get a little commission and it helps me out. So anyway, here is the warehouse sale. So it looks like we have notebooks, deck supplies, petite planners, calendars, writing tools and pouches, notepads, stationery, gift supplies, planner accessories, stamps, flare pin stickers and paper tape. That is a lot. And I am planning, by the way, on doing a separate video on what I expect for this year's planner refresh. But I felt like this was timely and especially because a lot of us, including me, are stuck at home right now. And online shopping is a great way to fill time, even if it's not great for your wallet. Um, I thought it'd be fun to go through this. That being said, I will say, I am not buying anything from this particular sale. I just did a big order from Erin Condren a few weeks ago, and I am planning on buying a bunch of stuff when the new planners come out. Um, but if you do wanna take advantage of any of this stuff, I think it is a really great idea. Um, so anyway, here we go. So we have bundles to start out. So we have the Neutral Deluxe Monthly Planner Bundle. So it looks like that has the Deluxe Monthly Planner. That's what I was trying to um, say, because words, <laughs> words. <laughs> um, let's see, what's included? That's what I want. So non-custom Deluxe Monthly Planner and Wildflowers and Changeable Cover and a what a week notepad. Okay, so this is cool for somebody who is a little bit more of a monthly planner, but also wants um, a little bit of like, maybe a to-do list for the week, maybe not something huge, but just something a little, you know, small and cute and relatively um, low profile, uh, I guess. I mean, the, the monthly, the deluxe monthly planner is still a little bit higher profile, but you get what I'm talking about. Um, and then we have the colorful version of that. And then it looks like we have tapes mega bundle. So it has their paper tapes, washi tapes. By the way, both of my cats have been pacing in front of me. So they are probably going to make many of appearances. Um, I'm sorry about that. So let's see, it comes with one, two, I can't, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine tapes and then a little dispenser, which is cute, but I usually just use scissors for my washi tapes. And then we have notebooks. If you are in the market for a notebook, 480 for a notebook is excellent. Typically, when Erin Condren does the refresh, occasionally they'll come out with different notebooks designs, but more often than not, they come out with new covers. So as long as you don't mind these covers, this is a great, like really budget way to get a notebook. And so it kind of goes through what each of them is, hardbound, lined notebook, burnt orange, eucalyptus, eucalyptus dot grid it looks like all of these are hardbound so far yeah so it looks like it's the hardbound notebooks that are on sale i wonder if they're going to be completely refreshing those or if they just have a big supply that'll be interesting to see next we have the petite planners and journals um these are really cute okay here's my thing with petite planners I love the idea of them. They are adorable. I like the idea of having everything contained. I like the idea of being able to put together your own like little petite planner pouch and have just the petite planners you want in it. I don't end up using them. <laughs> I have my life planner sitting on my desk pretty much 24 seven. I will also say 
I work from home. I run um, an Etsy sticker shop. By the way, if you're interested in uh, checking out my stickers, there is a link down below and um, there is a coupon code for um, 10% off. Actually, I just realized I have the whole shop on 10% off, but if you use my coupon code, there's like a couple of items that are excluded from the shop-wide 10% off and the coupon code will get you 10% off everything. So you're welcome. Um, but anyway, because of that, I do like having something a little bit bigger. Uh, these are not my stickers, by the way. I will just say that. I like using other designer stickers a lot so that I can get an idea for what other people are doing, see what things I like, what things I don't like, and hopefully incorporate them into um, my own designs when I change my stickers because I probably will have to do a kit refresh when the new life planners come out because usually when the new life planners come out, they change some things and the kits have to be adjusted accordingly. So um, it's nice to kind of have that perspective and not just use my own stuff. Anyway, so we have writing tools and pouches. I like the um, dual tip markers from Erin Condren. I will say, first off, I don't really use the um, thick end. I just use a thin end. And for what they are, I feel like they might be a tad overpriced. Not, not anything I'm really worried about. They have a lot of really pretty colors. It looks like it's mostly the earth tones and things like that that are on sale right now. Um, I have like a big, I think it was like a 10 pack that I got. Oh, that's so much fun, I love it. But um, you know, just keep that in mind. We have some other stuff. We have these planny packs that are on sale. Now that is interesting. I wonder if they're planning on refreshing, refreshing the planny packs. I'm pretty sure they have different designs for the planny packs that are available. So the fact that not everything is on sale either means they're sold out of everything else I can't be bothered to check, or um, they just wanna get these old designs out so they can bring new ones in. So that's kind of cool. We have these little pen holders that you can stick in your planner. Um, painted petals, Lutch, Lux, Clutch. I can speak, I swear. Um, we have a couple of other little pouches. Other little pouches. Um, mini multi planning pack. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have more of the Woven Wonder, um, Designer Eraser, Painted Petals. My bad. Oops, that's adorable. Okay, I will give you that. Okay. Lander accessories. So they have the teacher dashboard on sale. There's probably going to be a new teacher lesson planner coming out. So that is good that they have the, the dashboard on sale. I also like that they have the teacher dashboard in a smaller size. So in case you don't know, the teacher lesson planner is a little bit bigger than eight and a half by 11. It may be like nine by 12 or something like that. Um, and that's so teachers can use the pockets to put like normal like US letter sheets of paper in it. it uh, sometimes will even come with little pouches in the back to do so. But um, with a lot of people home right now because of the coronavirus and a lot of parents having to homeschool their kids, it's really handy that you have something like a teacher dashboard that could be really handy for not normal teachers, but people that have to be teachers right now to clip into a normal life planner. Uh, we also have these little to-do lists from the Ojoy collection. I love the Ojoy collection. It's like so pretty. Um, we have some snap-in um, sticky notes. I love these sticky notes. I don't tend to use them when they're snapped in, but they're so cute. So I just keep them on my desk separate from my planner. I also find it really interesting that they have the coil clips on sale. I wonder if they're planning on redesigning them. I haven't heard too much about them lately. Um, so maybe they are um, planning on discontinuing, redesigning. We'll see, that's interesting. Um, asterisk page flags, though, okay, that's adorable. That's adorable, especially if you're someone who keeps your planner like on your desk in the monthly view, you can like have it in, like a little pop-ups. My cats would destroy it in like a minute, but it's adorable. Next, we have some more teacher stuff. And if you're not a teacher or you're not normally a teacher, you might not know that Erin Condren actually does have a huge line of teacher planners and accessories and things like that. Um, they have been kind enough to send some of them in the past to me in PR packages, even though I'm not a teacher and I don't have kids. Um, but you know, I was actually homeschooled, so I was exposed to a lot of that stuff as a kid. So I actually, it's really interesting 
looking at all of these parents who aren't using used to homeschooling their kids and while I don't have personal experience with it I have experience from the side of the kid that was homeschooled um, and so yeah it's it's kind of interesting to watch what's going on I don't really other than that have enough expertise to feel like I can add to the conversation but it has been interesting on a personal level oh and we have all of the little bookmarks that is adorable I like these little snap-in bookmarks. I almost always get the new ones when they come out with the new design, whatever it's gonna be. And we don't even know what the theme's gonna be this year yet. I will say with the new life planners, and I'll probably address this in another video, the one where I talk about what we can expect. I did talk to my Erin Condren rep. Now this information is from, I think it was like two weeks ago when I was emailing her. And she said, as of then, there are no, there were no delays planned for the new life planners or the other like really big launches that she was talking about things could have changed now but um that is kind of interesting that and and really cool i just hope that they can make sure to package everything in a safe way so that um they're putting their workers at as minimal risk as possible but i think they have like a big warehouse and so you know businesses that have higher volume in a bigger space do have a little bit more um i guess leeway or ability to spread people out but yeah that'll be interesting all sorts of other sticky notes these are metallic those are so cute and other planner accessories we have these little snap in dashboard to-do list things um more sticky notes these are little pockets that you can stick in on different pages so you can put them on the note pages every month you can put them really wherever you want and then we have corner pockets like this um just be careful with a corner pocket because things can slide out this side but you know for a notebook that can be really good this is a snap in grocery list dashboard and i've always found this kind of interesting because it does have a lot of the standard stuff i hope you can see that it has a lot of the standard stuff that you might get but in places to fill in stuff that um you know isn't standard but a lot of people might not get a lot of these things for instance i don't tend to stock celery or avocados or mushrooms or spinach or tomatoes i'm picky about my veggies to be fair and um so it would be really cool and this would not be practical but it would be so cool if people could design their own snapping grocery list dashboard where they list out what they want on each line so it can be customized to your actual needs and what you tend to buy stickers ah, i love stickers you know as evidenced by the fact that i run a sticker shop in fact as soon as i'm getting done with this i get to work on more stickers right now i'm working on face mask stickers in case anybody's wondering had them up for a couple weeks in blue and now I'm doing the rest of the colors of the rainbow so anyway we have lots of stickers teacher stickers party stickers um, I love stickers I don't have any myself I can't really show you very well I love stickers that have like kind of like the watercolors you can kind of see there when it doesn't change <laughs> um, more stickers appointment boxes holiday stickers asterisk stickers all of the things that's kind of a cute patch sticker nice i didn't know they did patch stickers date dots these are really good for the small hard bound planners um that i believe at least some of them come undated so having the date dot stickers for that is really nice gives you a little bit of a pop of color we have some other goal setting stickers and um, more asterisk stickers. There are a lot of asterisk stickers on this website. Okay, so we're into the paper tape. I wonder why they call it paper tape and not washi tape. I am not super up on the washi tape lingo. I actually, I have it, I love it, but I don't tend to use it for its intended purpose. <laughs> so um, excuse me for that. Um, I know that most washi tapes are kind of see-through and this one looks like it kind of is and these kind of look like they aren't. So maybe that's the difference. But I know that washi tape by definition is kind of like a paper tape. And 140 for some of these rolls and um, you know 220 for some of the others is a pretty good deal. Um, we have some desk supplies here. Designer Hourglass Trio, that's so beautiful. Okay, so fun story. Um, I have to blow this up and then not put my cursor on it. Okay, so the thing that's gonna be right here 
when I take my mouse off. So that thing right there, um, I have that on my desk right now, but I am not using it for its intended purpose. I have it on its side and I actually put my external drives in there so that they're a little bit corralled. My desk is like a mess of wires and different things because I will tell, okay, here, here's what's on my desk right now. I have two desk lamps. I have my computer. I have my external monitor. I have my camera um, on a tripod hooked up to my computer, which is actually currently not working. So I'm currently filming on my um, webcam. So I'm hoping this quality won't be too bad. Um, as I said, I have the two hard drives. I have an adapter for a lot of this stuff because I have a MacBook Pro 26, late 2016 and it only has the USB-C connectors. Um, and then I have my computer or my printer, my silhouette cutter. That's what I use to make my stickers. Um, I have a diffuser. <laughs> I have my planner. I have a little desk fan. I like hate being warm and I like airflow. So I have that. So anyway, with all of that, I have like all of the wires. So being able to corral some of it is nice. I would have twisty tied a lot of the other wires, but I move them too much to really feel like I can twisty tie them and not have to undo them. But that is a nice little way to corral things. And I like that they also have it in the metallic um, painted petals version. That's really cute. All right, going down the list, flashcard refill set, flashcards. These paper clips are so cute. <laughs> push pins. Okay. When I got my, um, oh my goodness, what is it called? It's like the command center. It's the, um, maybe that's what it's called. The, the wall command center. Basically it's their big whiteboards that you can put on the wall. Um, and then you can get a strip at the bottom and you can get it magnetic or you can get it, um, or you can get it as a cork board for push pins. And I really wish I'd gotten the push pin. Um, full disclosure, that was PR sent to me, um, but they did let me customize it. And I, I'm pointing there because that's where it is. It's actually a little out of date currently. I'm filming this on April 1st. Hopefully I'll get it up this day. Um, and so I have to redo it. But um, yeah, all these cute little push pins, I wish I had an excuse to use them. All right, so we have some pockets. Okay, so these are just like folders that you would kind of use for school. 160 for a cute folder, that's pretty good. I always, as a kid, oh my, <laughs> I love all these really cute desk supplies and stuff. I think even more because when I was a kid, my mom was like, all right, we're getting the cheap stuff. Like the notebook, it doesn't matter what the cover looks like. 10 cent notebook on sale. Okay, here we go. And so I was always like really jealous of all the kids that have like the really pretty notebooks and the really pretty binders and all that sort of thing. So now... I'm a little bit of a sucker for like the nice stuff. And this is a good opportunity to get a lot of this stuff at a little bit of a discount um, because there is a lot of really cute stuff here. And I mean, let's be honest, Erin Condren <laughs> is not cheap. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> um, I, I think most of it or a lot of it is worth it, um, but especially their life planners. I mean, I've been getting those for years, but it's not cheap. So anyway, desk pads. It's interesting that they have the um, Petite Daily Planner Volume 1 here instead of with the other Petite Planners. Um, same with the Monthly Planner. They probably just had to make a, um, a call on that. Um, we have some notepads here, kind of desk pad to-do list sort of things. Stationery, okay. I feel like a lot of these things I didn't know were on the website, which is kind of cool. So we have a coloring book. Rose gold coloring book. Oh, this is metallic and this is rose gold. That's cool. I'm not really a coloring person. I never was, even as a kid. I liked drawing my own pictures. Um, thank you card set. That's cute. More thank you cards. Compliment cards, address booklet. Okay, here we go. Gift supplies. So we have an all occasions gift wrap book. Um, I think it comes with some of the, um, the gift wrap paper that comes folded. And then it looks like you have some cards and some tags and things. And then we have gift labels. We have normal ones and then happy holidays. Well, no, you know, these are kind of more Valentine's Day-ish, I guess. Anyway, stamps. They have, is this metallic stamps? Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Heat tool. What would you use that for? Huh? Maybe that's what you use to set 
this? That's weird. Okay, now I have to look into this. This is supposed to be like a really quick video. Um, yeah, didn't end up working that way. Um, let's see. Rich, vibrant colors. Um, expedite the process with heat tool to allow plenty of time for thorough drying. Okay, so that, that makes sense. I wonder if you could just use like a hair dryer on low. <laughs> Flare pins, enamel pins. These are really cute. And it looks like we are finally to the bottom. Save on your favorite Erin Condren designs before they say goodbye. Shop our warehouse mega sale today. Okay, so, um, you know, as, as I kind of expected, they're probably discontinuing a lot of this stuff that is on sale. But my guess is that a lot of the, like specifically the calendars and the planners and the notebooks and probably even the planning packs and things like that are going to be replaced with something new, um, probably decently similar, just with like new covers and new designs and things like that, since Erin Condren is known for all of their really cute designs. So there is a lot of fun stuff there. I hope you enjoyed getting my little two cents on what is going on. Do make sure to stay tuned for that video where I talk about my expectations for the new life planner release. If we follow the same um, pattern as previously um, or as previous years, then we should be getting sneak peeks on Saturdays. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you babes next time. Bye.